Are we filming? Yes. So, um, I spent a pleasant day today talking with uh, some friends of mine about fountain pens and inks and uh, and notebooks and uh, one or two file faxes as well. And I I uh, um, I ended up with a with a few notebooks. And you can't have too many notebooks. I mean, that's the law, isn't it? Um, but I just want to share this haul with you. Uh, let's let's start with let's start with the Rodia. Now, as you many of you are aware, I'm a big fan of Rodia paper, but this is an interesting one uh, because this is not a web notebook. This is a Rodia armor, which has different. Let me just zoom in. Am I going to zoom in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this has. I'm not so sure. I like this. Um, okay, it, it's funky and all that, but uh, I'm not too sure I like the the um, the coloured zebra theme. To be honest, <laughs> each to their own. But let me show you this. Um, it says ninety gram. Let's try that. That's better, isn't it? Ninety gram per square meter. So ninety GSM Clairefontaine paper made in France, but. There are some people... Let me zoom out again. It's not zooming out very well. Um, there are some people that, that find this paper nowhere near as good as the traditional 80 GSM Clairefontaine paper in web notebooks. So this is a Rodia Armour. It looks very, very similar to the web notebook. But... Uh, this is uh, this is uh, an issue. There may be an issue with this paper, and I am going to test this. Not now, uh, but you will in due course. Uh, this will pop up in uh, in a video on Thursdays, uh, which is my new uh, ink and paper or paper and ink day. Uh, so this will be tested, and this will be tested over over time with every. So many, many inks, dozens and dozens of inks. So you'll be able to see exactly whether this is such a good idea. Who knows? Um, I bought three Moleskine or uh, Moleskine or Moleskine, depending on your pronunciation, um, ruled journals. I have had these in the past that are plain and uh, with a grid. These happen to be a pack of three uh, lined ones. Now, I do like these. I do like these with my Pilot G2 broad point. The one, the one millimeter broad point is my weapon of choice if I'm not using a fountain pen. Um, but I, um, I, I, I'm the jury's out with regards to fountain pen use. And again. This will be tested, but I actually like I like this form factor, you know, rather than carrying a massive notebook um, around with me. This actually works very, very well, especially if you are using it as a diary so that you can start off with one and then that when that's started to run out, add another one. And also, if you are a Filofax user, and I know many of you are, this is perfect, a perfect notebook to slip into one of those file facts pockets in your binder it's it just does it um some people have the the leather covers these are very very similar i believe in dimensions to traditional field notes binders or the uh, field notes field notes uh um notebooks and uh, just compare it with an age bag let's just try well the uh, the dimensions are very very similar almost identical aren't they so um, for the mountain pen use, I prefer the age bag with the Clairefontaine paper. But do you know what? These are these are absolutely fine with gel pens, in my opinion. Not so much with fountain pen use, but horses for courses, as we say in the UK. Um, and then we have. I mean, this is a this is a company, a UK based company called New or New. Don't know how you pronounce it. Um, uh, but I, I'm very impressed with the, I've got an A7 reporter's notebook. Have I got it to show you? No, it will be somewhere. 
But um, these are, and I, I, I bought two of them, uh, and these these ones are lined as well. Um, I'm not sure what the... Uh, okay, these are A6, of course, and these are 80 GSM. 80 GSM, 120 pages, and uh, they feel like they could be uh, promising for fountain pen use. I'm not sure about this constant reminder of the uh, the, the logo, you know. Um, I mean, I already know that this is the company. Do I need to, I'm being facetious here, but do I really need to be reminded on every single page, literally every single page? Oh, by the way, you are using a new, um, uh, whatever. Can you imagine buying a car and having the, I don't know, no, that's, that's the wrong analogy. So I'll scrub that, scrub that now. Um, you're wafting into the the verging on the surreal there, so I won't even I won't even go there. Uh, but I am not too keen on this logo. But you know, hey ho, I'm interested in testing these for fountain pen use. Uh, and again, uh, Thursdays is pen and paper day. Uh, and following on for the from the new theme, guess what? Another one. This is. The classic size, isn't it? The A5 size that is beloved by many of us, including me. Um, this one has, I wrote it down, 160 pages. 160 pages, which is um, 80 sheets, isn't it? Um, this is same paper but whiter. This is also 80 GSM. It feels different, though. It feels feels different to this one, so um, you know time will tell. But uh, I'm hoping that it will be good for fountain pen use. Again, another another notebook that will be tested thoroughly with all sorts of inks over the course of many weeks and months. Perhaps there are so many permutations of notebook and ink, I can't do them all in one hit, but. Uh, this will reg make a regular appearance on Thursdays. And then we have, again, A5, the pucker pad. And it says, this is unusual because it, it perked my interest because it said soft cover notebook. And you would normally think, oh, well, it's a, it's a softback rather than a hardback. But it's not. It's a hardback. But the hardback has a soft feel. I've never, ever... I've never ever come across that um, that notation before, um, but it feels it feels quite rough. It feels like a kind of sort of a notebook that I might have from uh, Poundland. This one is my workbook. I use these quite a lot because they're. I mean, I'm I'm recording this in February two thousand twenty four. These these have a, an almost identical feel, uh, and these cost two pound fifty in Poundland. So I, I I buy maybe one or two every every month or so. Um, it's just a workbook. I call it my ideas book. Can you see that? There we go. So it's just a workbook, and it's it's a lot cheaper than others because I I I do everything in those, but. This is a pucker pad, 80 GSM, and it says quality lined writing paper. Um, FSC accredited, as they all are. It says made with a premium quality vegan leather. Um, I don't know how many pages this is. Does it say? 192 pages. Okay, so there we go. Um, again, we will see. I will be doing lots and lots of testing. Um this one, I'm not going to be doing testing because I've already got uh, one or two, three or four moleskins that I'm testing already. But I just bought this because it has a... Let me, let me zoom in again. It has a, a kind of texture. I'm not going to open it. Uh, it has a sort of um, linen cloth texture, which I haven't seen before on a moleskin. Moleskina. Um, classic ruled notebook, probably absolutely useless for fountain pen, but very, 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 very good for this pen. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might actually keep it as a notebook myself 
because I like the colour and, you know, I'm very subjective here, but I like the colour and with, um, uh, with, with a, with a Pilot G2, it's absolutely fine. Um, it, just as a workbook. I think I might use that as a, as a, as a, as a workbook. The reason why I like moleskins, although I'm not a fan of the paper with regards to fountain pen use, um, I love the fact that it, it is slightly, actually, this is, this is narrower. This is, it, it, it's, as, the pucker pad is the same. Let's see whether we get a difference with the, the A5. Yes, so, so, that is interesting. Um, okay, so traditionally, a moleskin or moleskina in an A5 size has been narrower than an A5. And the reason why I like this form factor is because this will slip into my jacket pocket, whereas this will only do so uh, with a, it, but it's a bit of a squeeze, and so that difference, that centimetre difference, makes a difference with regards to getting this in my pocket. Um, and I didn't realise that the Puckerpeds has almost the same format as the Moleskin. It's just slightly, slightly taller, and ever so slightly wider wider by a couple of millimetres and taller by about five, sorry, uh, millimetres and taller by a couple of millimetres. So interesting. So I might actually use that rather than for testing, but just as a working, as a work, as a workbook, uh, because, because of the form factor. And they're lovely with Pilot G2s, in my humble opinion. Um, so we've, we've done this, haven't we? We've done the new one to death. Um, did I mention the fact that uh, there's a constant reminder of every page, there's a constant reminder of uh, the fact that you are using a new binder. Now, if anyone from you is watching this, and they could be, they could be, um, personally, save your, save your printing ink, save that, that print process, and you don't have to do that, in my opinion. I, I'm okay. I know it's a new binder without you reminding me on every page. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, this is a little bit weak. Not, uh, not a big fan of that. Uh, they need to be a little bit, these, these, uh, these elastic bands need to perhaps be a little bit tighter. Interestingly, these are riveted on, which is perhaps not something I, prefer i prefer the actual traditional moleskin or rhodia they all seem to be sewn in or glued in like this this is this is much more preferable because if you are using a table or something like this table which is a very nice table i don't want to have the metal grinding away at my microscopically wearing away the the table surface i'd rather have this this kind of surface so um uh, i'm not a fan of that i'm not really a fan of that so i would probably remove it but you know it is what it is uh finally we have this this is the let's notelets it's called the universal notebook um and this is a plank one and it has blank pages uh, each one has the has space for the date at the top there so an interesting concept and this this size it's an unusual size um six and seven eighths by six and a half inches 22.5 centimeters by 16.5 now i have looked at several several websites showing all the possible well clearly not all the possible uh, page sizes because this does not appear in any of them so if anyone knows what this size is whether there is a designation for this particular size then please let me know because i i've not come across this before but anyway this is made by let's uh and uh i uh, i believe um i did a quick check and this this book uh this model the notelets uh, has been around since at least 2013 so over 10 years and i could find clearance on the let's 
EU page, the European cha- uh, page. Um, and but I haven't I haven't been able to find any. It's it doesn't appear on the UK page. So I'm just guessing that this is slight clearance. I bought this very very cheaply, um, but it's clearance at a bricks and mortar store in the UK. Um, but I like the fact that it's black. Uh, black cover it's got a nice feeling to it um for some strange reason um let's do not want to reveal the gsm there's nothing here there's nothing inside there's nothing available on the uh, on the let's website no indication at all um what i would say is here is a here is a retacy one that is 100 gsm and if you look at the two text blocks here, uh, you'll see that this is probably uh, may, between 80 and 90% of the width of the text block for the 100 ESM Retasy book. So I would hazard a guess that this is either 80 or 90 GSM. Um, I'm probably going to air, air, air on the on the the um, premise that this is 80 GSM, but we'll see. Um, it, I mean, it's it, it may be absolutely rubbish for fountain pen use, or it may be perfect. Who knows? But I'll tell you what, it is actually. It does feel very very smooth very it does feel good quality it's it's on a par it's on a par it feels like uh, the paper that moleskin use now moleskin you use all sorts of paper from all sorts of places now as we know it's no longer made in france as it were um or italy or anywhere else other than the far east but this paper does feel nice I mean, it does feel nice, but whether it's fountain pen friendly, I don't know. But again, this book will be will feature regularly, not every week, but it will feature regularly in the uh, on Thursdays, Income Paper Day. So, thanks very much for watching all that. I just decided rather than um, rather than have mail times and some of these have, have arrived in the post and some of these have been uh, were bought in in local stores to me here in the uk um but i just thought i'd do like a haul if you like uh, because there are so many and uh, have a little chat about them um uh like a mini review or a, my my first appraisal as it were rather than rather than just film myself taking them out of a cardboard cardboard uh envelope which is a it's a little bit on the boring side really um so i hope you enjoyed that format which i might uh i might think about doing for more stuff in the future who knows um but let me know let me know if you like this format of a haul rather than a mail time uh but we'll see we'll see what happens uh but until uh, my next video thanks very much for watching and goodbye.